uh, Antarctica, the highest, windiest, coldest, most inaccessible of continents. Who wouldn't want to wake up to that brisk air? Watch the penguins tuck their beaks under their wings and salute the mad scientists experimenting in their insulated boxes. As it turns out, climate change is capable of rendering Antarctica unrecognizable. Antarctica has experienced air temperature increases of 3 degrees Celsius in the Antarctic Peninsula. Continued growth in greenhouse gas emissions over the next several decades could trigger the collapse of its ice. And high-speed internet might just be coming to Antarctica. What a transformative opportunity, right? Yeah! Makes you want to pack up a bag and move to Antarctica this instant. Yeah! Can you though? Can you move to Antarctica? Is it legal? To find the answer, we need to make like a tree and travel back in time to 1959, when 12 states signed the Antarctic Treaty, which ended up determining the political framework for the entire continent. 12? Just 12? Just 12. Consisting of 14 articles, the Antarctic Treaty established that Antarctica is to be used exclusively for peaceful purposes and suspended competition among seven states regarding jurisdictional claims to slices of Antarctica. Put simply, thanks to this treaty, sovereignty claims in Antarctica are frozen. Much like everything else there, am I right? Although they have not been removed. So Antarctica belongs to no one. Does that mean that we don't need any visas or permission to travel there or to settle there? Well, not quite. The Antarctic Treaty permits member states to exercise nationality jurisdiction, that is, to regulate the activities of their own citizens in Antarctica. So if your country of citizenship is one of the 54 countries that has signed the Antarctic Treaty, then you might need to get permission to travel to Antarctica. It might also mean that your country might remove you if you decide to settle there. If your country of citizenship is not one of the 54 countries, then legally speaking, you might just be off the hook. In that case, the Antarctic Treaty says that any dispute regarding jurisdiction over you is to be solved by consultation among the concerned states. So your name, alongside your country's representatives, might just come up in the next Antarctic Treaty consultative meeting. And if you're lucky enough, the right person might just be asleep. The Antarctic Treaty also prohibits any new claims to territorial sovereignty. Remember our previous discussion on starting a new country? You will if you just click there. Right there, yep. Unfortunately, as long as the Antarctic Treaty is in force, no one can claim any territory in the continent. That includes Mary Britt Land, which some sources mistakenly remark as an unclaimed territory up for grabs. So what do you think about moving to Antarctica? Would you like to say goodbye to civilization, get in the TARDIS and start afresh? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.